Hi guys, it's Claris and welcome to another video tutorial with me. Uh, in today's video tutorial, we're going to do something a tad bit different. Before we actually start painting, uh, we're going to explore a couple of colors and just some really quick mixing. This is typically how I start most of my monthly watercolor classes that have started uh, since Jan of this year. Uh, but we'll, this will just be like a shorter version of that. So today we're going to explore mixing three different colors. We're going to mix uh, Quin, Quinacridone Rose and Cadmium Red Light and Cadmium Medium Lemon. Okay, so I've got, let me run through my supplies really quickly. I am using my 36 set of White Knights. That's where these colors are coming from, but I'm pretty sure you can get them in all other brands as well. Uh, I will be using a palette to sort of have these different mixes. Oh, one more thing. I forgot. We are going to be adding some titanium white to it as well. Sorry, I have zinc white. Um, just adding some white to it to get different variations and shades. And the colors are going to be super pretty, I promise you. For my brush, uh, just for mixing, I'm going to be using my Princeton number no. 8. I've got two little bits of bowls of water here, bits, bowls, whatever. And I am using some leftover Canson paper just to kind of swatch the colors so you guys can see what we get. All right, so we're going to start mixing right away. And let's go for it. So cadmium red light onto my palette. And if you guys are wondering where you can get these supplies or products that I'm using in this video, please feel free to check out the uh, description. Everything is listed in there. There are some Amazon affiliate links in there, but feel free to get the name and just kind of purchase from your local art shop I guess or wherever you prefer okay so here's some cadmium lemon and I'm mixing some of that here and then we're gonna get some white and we're just going to go ahead and try and get different variations off this so for instance maybe a little bit more cadmium red light um, in one version a little more lemon in the other adding some extra white here and there so there's so many different things that you can do to get different variations but I want to show you guys how we can do this so let's just move to our sheet now that we have some color and I'll introduce the white once we've got a couple of mixes happening. Okay, so got a little bit of a mix here, so I'm just gonna take this. And I am going to, I should have probably started off by just swatching the first two, but let's do the mixture here. So here's some of that. It's very watered down, as you can see. But we can fix that. So what I'm gonna do is get some cadmium and add that to the top here just so you can see what that looks like on its own. So that's what that looks like. And now let me get some lemon and I'll add that over here. So that's cadmium, that's lemon, that's the mixture. I'm just going to add more color to it so we can get a brighter more potent sorry not brighter potent uh, view or version of this so we get this nice coral sort of color so let me just add a little bit more lemon to my palette here This almost looks like a golden, so if I add more of a lemon, let's just go this way. That's what that looks like over there. And now if we add more of that cadmium. So I'm just kind of going in different sections based on which has more of the color. And we just add a little bit more to it. And now we're going to add some white to what we have. Okay, so I'm going to add some white to our blends. 
getting some of the white. Mix that on here. And then just get a little bit of that color and mix it in here. And you get these pretty, 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 pretty pastels. So let's just do the white on here. Now this is really pastel-y and light in color because I took just a smidge of the color and mixed it with the white. But if you want to mix more, just pull more into the white. Mix it. And you should be able to get this nicer, more um, peachy kind of hue happening. And now if we introduce more of the lemon into this hue, you get more of this. So some very, very pretty colors. If you just mix two colors, like the cadmium red and the lemon, and then add some white, you're getting this nice array of almost like pinkish to like yellow orangey hues, which I think would make for a great spring palette if you are looking for one. And then if you just add more white to this, let me just wash my brush. I don't want to contaminate my white. I did add a lot of white over here actually, so maybe if you want to add more of the color into it, uh, and then you can get different variations, gradient variations of these colors. So I actually added more of the orange now. I did say more of the white, but I realized that that's very, very light already because I took a whole bunch of white there. And then if we just get some of that white into the lemon again. So just play around and see what you get and formulate a palette that you like for our upcoming painting. Um, yeah, mixing some more up here. And I guess if you have a palette with little sections and you want to really hone in on what variations of color you're getting, that would also work. But I'm free, I'm, I'm okay with kind of just loosely getting colors because they're all going to mix together and look really nice anyways. So I'm good with that. All right, so we're now going to move on to doing the next two colors. What did I say? Quinn, Rose, and Cadmium Lemon. Okay, so I got a fresh little bowl of water here and we are ready to start mixing some Quinn Rose. Let's move that in here so you can see better. Here's some Quinn Rose and some lemon. Actually, before we go into lemon, let me just swatch the Quinn Rose so you can see it. So, here's what that looks like. This is like one of my favorite colors. I love it. Such a pretty pinky red, pinky red, yeah, pink, more of a pink. Washing off the color, getting some off the cadmium medium lemon, and we're just gonna swatch that over here, even though you can see what it looks like at the top, but. And if you're doing this exercise with me, just go ahead and label these, so you can always reference this later on. And now we're gonna mix the two, so just going to get a little bit of that lemon, mix it here with the Quinn, and this is what you get. You get like this orangey color. Which looks like this. Now, so it's very similar to the colors that we got at the top. So let's mix some white into it and see what we get. So you're getting more of a pinky hue, a tad bit more pink than the orangey pink that you see at the top there. So again, this depends on the ratios of Quinn rose to the lemon that you're using in it and then obviously the white as well because the white really helps lighten things down and so if you add white to the Quinn rose you're getting more of a pink right so 
Let's do that really quickly. So if I add some of the white to my Quin Rose, this is what I get. It's a really nice, pretty mauve pink. Right. And I'm just going to add a little bit more of the Cadmium Lemon into um, this mixture here. I keep gravitating to that color and that isn't the right one okay here we go so I added more of the lemon and that's what this looks like over here so I'm just gonna add it directly below so it's got a little bit of white but more lemon and some of the Quinn Rose in there so you're getting some nice variations of color. Let's add more of the Quin Rose now just to see if we can get, just to see what we get. And this is what we get here. This watermelon sort of pink. Again, quite pretty. And lovely. Okay, so these are the colors we're getting. This is the palette we're gonna be using for this upcoming really quick, easy painting for beginners. So I hope you guys enjoyed this blending bits. Let me know what you thought. And we're gonna proceed right away and get into the painting. Uh, for my painting, I am going to be using, um, I like the idea of continuing to use a postcard. So wow. For our painting, we're going to be using two um, eight number eights round and this is just so that I can lay water with one blend with the other or maybe switch out two different colors it'll come in handy and so right away we're gonna mix and we're mixing I really love the combination of the Quinn Rose with the cadmium lemon so I'm gonna start off with that and let's just start off right away so I'm getting some off my Quinn Rose from right here love this color it's so pretty and I'm just mixing it onto my palette and then we'll get some of the lemon and add that on as well there's some of that Quinn and here's the lemon and I'm just going to mix that onto here. And now what we'll do is we get the number eight, the other number eight, and I'm just going to add some uh, strokes, kind of painting a regular floral on the sheet. And actually, before I do that, really quickly, what I want to do is just get some of the white. Let's not forget the white, so we can get different variations of that happening onto our, our um, little area of color here. And I'll just put that white over here. Then I can just swipe some and mix it in onto the palette quickly. Okay, so first thing I want to do is mix some in here. So I'll just get that ready. Okay. All right, so we're ready. I'm just going to go ahead and add a couple of strokes that look like we're painting a regular five petal flower, making sure I'm leaving a lot of white space in between. my petals and then I'm going in with this color that I got from my palette and we're just adding a couple of strokes in the center and allowing the color to bleed I'm going to get some of that Quinn Rose and just add that in the center as well and allow that to kind of bleed in
perfect. Now I'm going to get some of that lemon, mixing it with that white. And I've not really washed off my brush, but I'm just going to go ahead and create more flowers of that nature. In and around. Notice I'm touching up areas here and there. Now I'm getting some more of that lem um, Quin Rose. Before I do anything though, I am going to add another flower down here. And notice I'm going very loose. Like it's literally all about the color that we're using here to really give this painting a wow factor in a very loose floral manner. So you see like there's a lot of that loosey effect happening. Um, I'm going to take a little bit of that Quin Rose on the tip of my brush and I'm just adding a couple of strokes here just because it seems to be very light and then I'm just going to add some strokes at the top here, just in areas where I know it's super light and it's fading out. Some there, and then just kind of leave it. Washing it off, I'll get some more of that lemon. Maybe more of the white with the lemon, adding it in this area here. And just kind of, let's see adding another stroke here and there just to kind of make it seem like a nice full area of florals. Giving your composition some shape. And now I'm going to do a couple more here and then we're going to move on to the next color combination really quickly. So you're using the exact same techniques I've been telling you to do all this time and if you watched the last video um, tutorial I put out on my channel it's very similar to this so we're kind of using the same technique and going very very loose we get some more of that mixing it in let's just add one more this color here Great. Now we're going to move on and mix the next bit of color, which is the cadmium red light and cadmium medium lemon. We're going to add more of that on here. I already have some on here, so I'm just going to use what I have here. Um, and the reason being is things are nice and damp and I want to kind of go ahead and get some nice blending happening in right away. So just kind of taking from what I have on here, maybe add a couple of orange strokes over there. Just keep your paper towel handy just in case you need to dab a little bit. Adding some on this area, allowing that pink to kind of seep in. Adding some over there too. Okay, now I'm going to get some more of that cadmium lemon and add it to the mix. And then I'll even get some of the white. Now my white is completely contaminated at this point. So we've got some nice peaches happening. Let's not fill up the area too much and I'll tell you why. Because we have to add in some greenery. I, this exercise is not only to show you about mixing color, but it's also to show you about how striking an effect you can get if your colors are great. Your painting technique might not be spot on or all that fabulous, but it's all about the colors, it's all about the blending, and it's all about the complementary effects that you can sort of get. 
So I'm washing that off. I'm going to take the uh, next number eight and I'm just going to get some of my olive green. I think olive green would be a nice pop. And the reason I'm getting the olive green right away is so that I can take advantage of the fact that some of these areas are nice and damp. And I'm just going to add my strokes of green in there in hopes that it'll kind of blend in and make for a nice pretty loose floral effect and you can see that right away these colors are so spring-like and happy I'm dipping the tip of my brush in water just to get a little bit of a lighter hue of this green and I'm continuing kind of to just dab and add these colors, uh, sorry, these strokes of green in and around the area. But I'm being very specific uh, to touch the areas that are still damp. So like in and around there, there's a little bit of dampness happening over here. And then I'll just do one more down here and then we can stop this part. Just do some. And the, oh, before we completely end the greenery, I'm just gonna add a couple of dots here and there just to kind of indicate nice Lucy effect. My cheating action to get this loose effect by just adding a couple of sporadic dots of green. Especially around the edges where it's kind of tapering off. Creates for a nice pretty effect. So if you're new to watercolor, um, this quick video should be able to kind of give you an idea of how you can without really focusing on um, on techniques or anything like that, just warm you up by mixing some colors and then kind of going into just using these colors to kind of see what you can get on your sheet of paper. I do wanna add one more thing before we finalize this and that is just getting a little bit more of that Quinn Rose and just adding this is too much color so when there's too much color like that and you can see it pooling just take your paper towel and swipe the excess water on it from it onto the sheet and I'm just gonna add a little bit of that dark hue in the center here I'm just dabbing some off the reason I did that was because this seems to be more orange heavy and this is more Quinn Rose heavy. And you can actually do the same thing by adding some of that um, cadmium red light in some areas like here maybe. And all the flowers don't need that. This is just to add some additional visual interest because now you've got gradient variations of these three colors minus the green obviously and it kind of just makes things pop and stand out just a little bit more which is kind of a nice effect and I'm gonna get some more of that lemon mixed with the cadmium rose sorry Quinn Rose and I'll add some of that color onto here. I was thinking of going with a darker hue to highlight the centers, but this kind of just evolved as I added these colors there. So here we are. We are with this end result-ish.
perfect. Great. So now we are, we've added those darker hues and you know what? I think we can still go ahead and add some darker um, centers to these. So I'm going to go ahead and get some of my, you can either get some indigo or maybe even some sepia. Yeah, actually let's get sepia. Sepia is right here. And I'm using my number eight Zen Art Supplies brush because it's got a beautiful, beautiful tip. And that really does help when I want like thin lines. So I'm just gonna get some thin lines happening all around. And then just kind of adding a couple of dots at the top. And let's see, I don't want to add this everywhere, so I'll just add it for some key ones because the others have the nice colorful centers. So I'll add it for this one here. Again, these are like very abstract, loose, and simple florals for someone just starting out in watercolor and would like to just have something to practice without it being too intimidating like a rose or any of those florals uh, which I also kind of have on the channel so feel free to check those out if you are interested in doing something a little more complex great so we've got some of that we've got one two three four I'm gonna make it five and add this one here So less detail is the key to something like this. So you've got this nice, pretty little array of florals and the colors are pretty and it's very spring-like and it's like a completed piece of art. So you can enhance this if you want some more, if you've got metallics. Like I've got some really good metallics, so I could possibly just go in and add a couple of buds or something like that around this. Or I could just leave this as is because it's pretty even like this. I could sign it or maybe even have some lettering on there. I think it's super pretty. And that's it, guys. So hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know in the comments what you thought. And if you like this video, please hit the like button. And if you like videos like this or you're just starting out on your watercolor journey, please consider subscribing and checking out some of the other videos I have. I've got tons and tons of floral videos. So if flowers are your thing, check it out. Thanks guys for watching and can't wait to see your work on social media. So do tag me on there. They are listed below again. Um, I am on Facebook and I am on Instagram. So that's it.